Okay, I thought it'd be cool to go over how I quantize audio, uh, maybe help some people out there who are working in Digital Performer 8. Um, hopefully my skin isn't too dark that it's, uh, you know, tough to see what in the world I'm doing. But, um, you know, once you kind of get the hang of this, it, it really, it, it's not bad at all. Um, so this is this really, you know, I'm kind of making up this demo thing for my band. We're playing like some, some crummy cover music, so this is some... Some uh, not so fantastic uh, Pitbull song, but so this is the guitar part kind of on its own. And his playing's pretty good. You know, it's, it's like a little moves around a little bit. So obviously, I just want to tighten it up a bit um, to match the drums, which I've already fixed. So um, what I've been doing lately, um, which has made made it just unbelievably easy, uh, I've been going to audio. And then the audio beats, just a, adjusting the beat detection. I kind of turn it down somewhere, sort of around there. And then that way, it'll it'll really just select the obvious uh, spikes on on each soundbite. And I just hit apply. Um, and also, I've got just just that one segment that I'm working with highlighted. So I'm just going to be slicing up this one part. Then I'm going to go to audio, um, back to the audio beats, and then new soundbites from beats. And then I just crank that guy up, and it'll cut it on top of each waveform, pretty much right where you right, right where you want it. A um, couple of these look like they might be a little early, but once you kind of go in there and double check it, it it's easy to sort of fix it. Um, anyway, uh, and then just hit apply, and then all it's done is slice that up. Um, then I'm going to use uh, Command Zero for quantize, and I have my my uh, resolution set to sixteenth notes. Uh, just hit return. So that's quantized it to the nearest sixteenth. You know, maybe one or two of them it might move to the wrong sixteenth, but it's pretty easy to figure it out once you get into it. Um, and then what I've been doing is uh, just grabbing it and dragging over, kind of right off the bat. Even um, like it might make a little bit of a mess of it, but you know, you're going to go back and listen and fix it anyway. Um, then I'm just hitting Control F for crossfades, and for my crossfades, I'm doing um, the equal gain. Um, and I've got the 10 milliseconds before and after. Um, just create new crossfades, select them, just hit OK. And now um, all those crossfades are in. And a couple of these I can tell, like right off the bat, like this one, it, it chopped it off a little bit early. So just back it up. And you can kind of see that visually pretty easily. So I just go through and fix those couple ones. Whoops. There we go. And then that's that's basically that's that's basically done. Um, just give it a, a quick listen. Let me zoom out a little. And uh... so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It sounded like the end was a little messed up, but that's easy to fix. So you know something that if you were trying to cut it by hand or something like that would take. 15 minutes took me two and a half, so I uh, hope that helps.